Why do they think it's me? Oh, well, I do my patented Seth Meyers impersonation. Oh, hey, guys, I'm <laughs> Seth Meyers. You know me from SNL, the movie New Year's Eve. Follow me on Twitter at politicstelevisionman.com slash Trump. What do you think of my impression? It's a very, very good impression. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The other thing is, because of your hours at SNL, you were always sick. Yes. You were always sick. Always sick. Inspired a, an incredibly unpopular character <laughs> that you wrote at the table only. Yeah. yeah. I can never remember, because you had a character named... Ger there was Gerald. He's always sick. Right. His character was just like, hey, I'm always sick. <laughs> <laughs> and he was a huge bummer. And the theme song was two and a half minutes, and it just went, Gerald, he's always sick. Gerald, he's always sick, and over and over and over. <laughs> and we played it at the table, and it was not, not kidding, it was two and a half straight minutes of just, he's always sick, he's always sick. Gerald, he's always <laughs> sick. And it was the first time I ever saw Lauren actually go like. <sighs> I was just thinking about like. You were thinking about this a all, lot? Yeah, all the times that you've hosted stuff, I, how yeah. much I've been you there. You have helped out. Well, like, for example, like last year at the Emmys, I came and I dressed up like Joffrey for you. Yeah, there you are. That's proof that you did that. that. OK, there you and go. Then, uh, okay. And then, and you know I hate Joffrey. You hate Joffrey. He's like your least favorite. You think he's a bad dude. I think he's a bad guy. I'm in the minority, but I stand by it. <laughs> and then also, when you hosted the ESPYs, I dressed up like an octopus there guy. There you go, yeah. <laughs> I did that for you. Uh-huh. And you know I hate octopus. You hate octopus. <laughs> Octopi? Octopies. <laughs> and then also, remember when you did the White House Correspondence Center? I do not remember you being there. I remember you saying, like, hey, you got to come support me. I need you to dress up like a normal old white guy and stand and watch me do it. And I was like, I'll be there. Oh, that's you. <laughs> yeah. So that was you. That was me. <laughs> Playing it super <laughs> low key from a bro. <laughs> Super low key for a bro. <laughs> you love people. Love and, people. Uh, you are a great. Uh, you were a great friend to me and everyone in my family, love save you. for one member of my family. Yeah. The non-person. Right. Frisbee the dog. Frisbee the piece of. <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, you sent back. You sent back the Christmas card. Yeah. Because Frisbee was on the Christmas card. Yeah. Just, that... You know, this is what was on the Christmas yeah. card. Yeah. See. You might as well have sent me anthrax. <laughs> Look at this piece of <laughs> I had to hire a cleaning crew because all the barf in my house. You also, uh, uh, we told the story before the show, you have uh, disliked Frisbee from the beginning. From the jump. And I'm not one of these, like, oh, bandwagon <laughs> Frisbee haters. <laughs> Oh, now everyone wants to hate Frisbee. <laughs> and I was there in the beginning, hating Frisbee, saying it was an ugly little piece of <laughs> And I stand by that. You can check the tape. Frisbee was this big, <laughs> and we put her in your lap for a second. Ugh. And you, for real, went, Ugh! <laughs> And she just, like, thumped onto the floor. Yeah. And she's not a smart dog. And we do look back at that moment as, like, the turning point. I've been walking home in New York drunk at 4 in the morning and seeing rats I like more than Frisbee. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, it's like a part of the family. It's a dog. <laughs> so, so just imagine that I'm on stage at the Globes. <laughs> Around 1,300 people attended the Golden Globes this year, and only one will leave. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Crazy Rich Asians is up for two awards, and Crazy Rich White People are up for the remaining 200. <laughs> <laughs> Black Klansman was nominated, and judging by the upper and lowercase lettering in the title, is also a Wi Fi password. <laughs> it's a John Mulaney joke. <laughs> he wrote it. <laughs> As you do. As one does. Hello, and welcome to Second Chance Theater, where we give new life to sketches that were cut from Saturday Night Live. Some are cut unfairly, and some like tonight, we're cut for cause. <laughs> this evening, we present you with the story of Graham, an inebriated co-worker who is about to embark on a magnificent journey, a journey on which he yearns for someone, anyone, to come with. <laughs> we now present the sketch, Want to Come With, featuring
the Second Chance players, special guests Kenan Thompson and Greta Gerwig, and starring Andy Samberg's hair from 2006. <laughs> Enjoy. Hey, uh, Randy, you know where the head is? I was thinking about heading it up. Yeah, I think it's upstairs, Graham. Oh, uh, cool. You want to come with? No. So hammered. Hey, Mike, you want to come with? Not even at all. Yeah. That's cool. Susan, you want to come with? No. Douglas, you want to come with? Seriously, stop. OK. You want to come with, though? Hey, guys, Graham, stop it. No one wants to go to the bathroom with you. See you don't come with? No, just go by yourself. You want to come with, though? No. <laughs> So, no one wants to come with? No. No. So wasted. Come with? No. no. That's cool. Come with? No. no. Oh. Hey. I didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the hat. You, you wanna come with? Ah, uh, that's cool. But you wanna come with though? Okay, cool. I'll just meet you there. Just so is it. Uh, Keevan, you remember saying this sort of came from the fact that Andy would ask people to come with him to the bathroom. Was that a question you had been asked? Uh, I think I was asked it probably five times a night. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Also, the, the other thing he would do, Andy, he would ask you to the bathroom, and then while you were in the bathroom, he would sneak out and scare you. <laughs> <laughs> thereby not wanting any, making anyone want to go to the bathroom. Do you remember the best one? You, uh, yes, I do. He turned yeah. all the lights off in the entire hallway. That's <laughs> right. I came out into darkness, and he jumped out from a cabinet and yelled, and I screamed. Like a, it was like 5 scream. in the morning, and the building was deserted. <laughs> and I insisted he join me. I was like, come on, Andy. <laughs> it's like the biggest dick move of all time. You know this about me. Yes. The world doesn't. I uh, hate not going to the bathroom anywhere but at home. <laughs> and a river rafting trip where you camp along the river is the exact opposite of that. Yeah. So it was like a well-known thing in our group that like I was desperately trying to avoid it at all costs because if you had to um, take things to the, the furthest level in that department, <laughs> there was a contraption on our trip called the Groover which is a bucket with a lid on it. <laughs> right. um, and I was like, yeah, that's my worst nightmare. No, yeah. never. That's the farthest away from home. Yeah. yeah. I looked at that, and I was like, opposite of home. <laughs> yeah. And everyone knew it, and they were like, oh, is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? <laughs> the Groover is, is a lousy name, too. The Groover. I mean, every time someone brought it up, I'd go, the Groover! <laughs> <laughs> uh, which got old very fast for them, not so much for me. <laughs> I never tired of it, as you can see, my enthusiasm to do it right now. The Groover! <laughs> it's happening. I've got to. So it's set up, like, away from camp, so you have privacy. And we're on the river, and I'm like, all right, I got to do this. So I go, get in position. <laughs> and uh, there's this brief moment of, like, you know what? This isn't so bad. This is beautiful. I'm seeing the trees. There's birds flying around. The, the river is beautiful. You know, the sun is just coming up. And then, as if on cue, a caravan of boats <laughs> just <laughs> comes straight into my view, just like, <laughs> just like, and I didn't know what to do. I was like, ducking cover. So, I was <laughs> like this, I'm not kidding, like 30 boats in a row. It's like the first 10 people on every boat, just like partying, like, yeah! River trip, yeah! <laughs> and I, I feel like every single one of them was just looking off to the side, just like, why is that man crying? <laughs> Wild <laughs> <laughs> Some writers from this show actually went out and were backstage with you. Absolutely, I did. I worked with uh, three of your writers, Amber, Jenny, and Allie. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and there they are, right over hey, there. Andy? Yeah. Teeth. Remember? <laughs> Remember? <laughs> yeah, I love it. Sorry, what's that? Oh, no, it's just a thing that we do now since we work together on the Globes. Oh, it was like an inside joke then. Yeah. Did you guys have fun? Oh, so much fun. Oh, it was great. Yeah, I mean, it was different, you know? What do you mean, like, di like different than this? No, just uh, better. And he just gets it. You know what we mean, Steve. Seth. Oh, my God. Oh, Seth. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Is that... I mean, you know, it was the Globes, and it's a big deal. You wouldn't understand. No, yeah, I hosted it last year. I thought she did. Yeah, you were great. <laughs> no, it... thank you. Yeah. Anyway, Andy, we'll see about the after party. Wait, this show has an after party? Oh, uh, Seth, you wouldn't like it. It's just a bunch of people you know and work with. Shh. Yeah, I, uh, I think it's canceled. Yeah, 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 it's canceled. Yeah. I'll see you at the canceled after party. All right, give it up to these <laughs> awful, awful women. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you guys. <laughs> Shoemaker and I were in LA. We yep. came to visit your new office. Yep. And your new office was mind blowingly awesome. Thank you. It's tip top. Because it's Babyface's old office. It's, it's singer, songwriter, producer, Babyface's former office. <laughs> um, we're huge fans. Yeah. And one of the cool things about it is he left a piano there. It's like a, a snow white piano, it's got all these cool, like, synth modes on it. And um, a friend of ours, sent us a signed photo of Babyface, so it lives on top of the piano. So this is, I'm so happy that this is where the Lonely Island works. <laughs> <laughs> With Babyface's white piano. Yeah. So I asked Keith and Yorm to send me a picture of it, and they mm -hmm. sent that, and then a few hours later, Yorm was like, oh, you know what, we took a better one. And here you go. And that's that. Those guys. <laughs> They're missing Andy in California. Yeah, in Hollywood, which is very clearly Washington, <laughs> D.C. <laughs> I am never going to stop playing with this thing. Myers! We need again. Sandra. Oh, cool. You got one, too? Yeah, they sent it by accident. Well, unfortunately for you, it's two against one. Lutz, no. I... <laughs> We should do it as wanks. Oh, yeah. Pew! 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 <laughs>